In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Ojos Azules cat. Ojos Azules is Spanish for blue eyes. Ojos Azules are non-white cats with blue eyes. Why is that special or different? Well, nearly all cats with blue eyes are white or have some white fur in their coats. So a cat with blue eyes and fur that is not white is rare. Or, at least, it is meant to be. The problem with this strange breed of cat is that there are, in fact, muggy cats that are not white which have blue eyes. However, these cats usually have some white fur. A major cat association, the International Cat Association Tika, accepts this cat as a cat breed. Yet it is basically a Magi with blue eyes. A very strange thing is that Tika has allowed cats of any color and pattern including white or partly white cats with blue eyes to be called Ojos Azul's cat. The Ojos Azul's is no different from some Magi cats. Here are a few interesting facts about the Ojos Azul's cat which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Ojos Azul's Cat Breed History The name Ojos Azul's translates to blue eyes in Spanish, and the Ojos Azul's cat name is fitting because these felines feature beautiful eyes that are a deep blue color. This breed dates back to 1984 when a tortoiseshell female cat named Cornflower from a feral colony in New Mexico had kittens. Those kittens featured the same intense blue eyes that she had, thereby proving that this unique trait was a dominant trait that could be reproduced. What is interesting about the Ojos Azul's cat is the fact that the gene that causes the intense blue eyes does not appear to be linked to any particular coat pattern or color. So you could, for example, have Ojos Azul's cats with blue eyes and dark coats. But breeders discovered that dangerous genetic mutations are avoided only when the gene that causes the blue eyes is heterozygous, so the Ojos Azul's cats have to be crossed with cats that don't have the blue eyes in order to help ensure a healthy litter of kittens. In addition to the blue-eyed cats discovered in the United States, a cat with similar characteristics was discovered in Australia, even though no Ojos Azul's were imported there. Therefore, breeders think that the mutation might be spontaneous amongst domestic cats. The International Cat Association first recognized this breed in 1991, and a few breeders continue working with it today. However, the Ojos Azul's cat is considered a rare breed. 2. Ojos Azul's Cat's Physical Characteristics the main characteristic of the Ojos Azul's cat is its bright blue eyes. In fact, the name Ojos Azul's means blue eyes in Spanish. The depth of the color is even greater than that of Siamese cats, and it doesn't cause squinting, deafness, or cross eye. Also, it is not linked to the coat color, so black Ojos Azul's have a very extraordinary appearance. There are no other cat breeds that can have such coat and eye color combination because blue eyes in black cats are genetically impossible. However, the blue eye gene in Ojos Azul's is a genetic mutation, so the breed stands out of the common rule. The center of the eye may be gold, copper, or green. The body of Ojos Azul's is medium size and moderately stocky, neither long nor short, well boned. The head is triangular. The nose has a slight break. The tail is in proportion to the body. The back legs are slightly longer than the front ones. 3. Ojos Azul's Temperament Since the breed is one of the rarest, Little is known about the temperament of Ojos Azul's. However, they are said to be active, friendly, and affectionate companions. Placid and docile, they enjoy spending time indoors. Usually, get along well with children and other pets except for boisterous and aggressive dogs. 4. Ojos Azul's Cat's Coat Color The Ojos Azul's cat could feature a variety of coat colors because all colors are allowed. The only exception is solid white, which is not desirable. So, for example, you may find an Ojos Azul's that features a bicolor coat, or you might find cats that have tan or blue coats. No matter what, all of the coat colors will end up contrasting in an attractive way with the breed's stunning blue eyes. And many cats will also feature white patches on their body, such as on the tip of the tail, on the face, and on the feet. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Ojos Azul's Cat's Grooming Requirements The Ojos Azul's is considered easy to groom because these cats don't need to be brushed often and their shedding is considered average. The coat, which could be long or short, is described as silky, soft, fine, and shiny. Therefore, a simple brushing routine could be used to bond with your cat and to help your pet maintain a clean and smooth coat. Plus, Brushing your cat regularly could also remove loose hair and help to reduce the incidence of hairballs, so it is worth investing in a comb for your kitty that you can use to massage the skin, stimulate circulation, and smooth out the fur. And, like all other feline breeds, 
it is also important to get a good pair of claw trimmers for your Ojo Sazul's cat so that you can regularly trim your pet's claws. 6. Ojo Sazul's Nutritional and Exercise Needs Diet is very important for cats for it will determine overall health. A healthy coat, teeth, body weight, and energy level will depend almost completely on what they are fed. Cats generally are carnivores, so a protein-based diet is always the best option. One of its primary food sources is fish, so be sure to provide it now and then. The amount fed depends on weight, activity, and age. The type of food depends on the owner but make sure to provide quality and enough water if dry kibble is your choice. If their food is canned verify that only a few fillers are added. When cats are indoors most of the time, they might not get enough exercise. Despite this, oh Sazul's cats are active. Cats have an evolutionary advantage of having a fast metabolism that works even when they are lying down. Anyway, it's good to engage your cats in some type of daily activity to help maintain healthy body weight and keep muscles strong and lean. This benefits the mind as well, keeping it alert and active. Exercise is also a fun way and a good opportunity for you to bond with your pet. You may be able to set up an area especially for your cat to climb and play around. Cat trees and scratching posts can also be used for this purpose. Keep in mind that the Ojo Sazul's cats love jumping and pouncing, so interactive toys are a great option as well. Cat jungle gyms can be bought at a local pet store or you could build one yourself. 7. Ojo Sazul's Health and Wellness Despite having blue eyes, the Ojo Sazul's cats do not have the health problems that other blue-eyed cats present. A blue-eyed Siamese can be susceptible to strabismus, commonly known as being cross-eyed, and Epistasis cats tend to be deaf. The gene responsible for both these conditions does not affect either the ears or the eyes of an Ojo Sazul's. Despite this, the breed does tend to suffer from other congenital health problems which include cranial defects as well as stillbirth. The best way to make sure any individuals will not present any congenital problems occurring in an Ojo Sazul's is to make sure they are coupled with a cat that doesn't have blue eyes. It's best to get a resulting litter with 50-50 chance of blue eyes than a stillborn or sickly litter. In 2004, the breeding of these cats was stopped to prevent any further defects, but little by little it began again following strict rules. Annual exams, vaccinations, heartworm prevention, and flea and tick preventions are recommended. Initially make sure to dorm your cat and run basic blood tests as early diagnosis is always the best. Keep in mind that a good diet and regular exercise are always the best prevention. Being a pet, it is somewhat common for them to suffer some types of eye problems, diarrhea, and fleas. Allergic reactions are not common, but they may affect some people with cat allergies that come in contact with Ojo Sazul's cats. Nowadays, very little is known about the Ojo Sazul's, and in 1992 it was recorded that only 10 of these cats existed. The breed is still very rare. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.